Hi everyone, welcome to Punch Needle class. I'm gonna call this one Punch Needle 101. So tonight what we're gonna do is go over the kit that um, you hopefully got from Health Solutions. It's such a nice kit, great for starters. So it's got several different size hoops in it, which I really like. So whether you wanna do a small project or larger, whichever, I suggest if you're just getting started, probably to start with something small, okay? You've got two pieces of fabric in it, which we're gonna go over in a minute. And then in your kit, you've got a marker, which is really nice. You have what I call my best friend, a seam ripper. If you've made a mistake, it takes it out for you. If you're going to do embroidery, it has different size needles, which is pretty cool. For the punch needle itself, you can change out the needles to different sizes. And so this one's got a total of three different punch needles in it. And the finer the needle, the less flash you'll need in it and the finer the look will be. Measuring tape, which is really awesome. I thought this was pretty nifty. Some scissors to cut your floss with. This I really like. At first it kind of takes um, time to get used to it but what it is you put it on the hand that's going to go underneath your fabric so that when you are putting the punch needle in the needle will touch this and that way it doesn't hurt your finger okay hard to get used to but once you do you really don't want to be without it so that's pretty nice and then the punch needle itself and so this adjusts to different lengths of what you want for your punch needle so this one is set gosh looks like about at the very top, all right? So I've got my needle threader and you need a really long needle threader for this particular needle. So I'm gonna show you how to thread it in just a minute. And then you've got your floss here. So pick out what color floss that you wanna do. Maybe you wanna do a couple of them. Normally, I just use three strands of floss, but because of this particular fabric, uh, the holes are kind of big, so I'm gonna stick with the six strands of floss for this. Okay, so I'm gonna put my floss through the needle threader down here at the bottom with a tail about like that, okay? Also, this cap was in the kit as well, and I'm gonna take this off until we get it threaded. So the directions tell us to start here at the bottom and thread it through. And this needle is super sharp, which is good. That's what you want, but just be careful you don't hurt yourself. And just pop that cap on. Oh. Make sure your thread is in that opening right there. Okay, so see how I had my tail there? All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. I'm gonna put the floss through the threader again. You guys could be doing this with me if you want to. And again, remember to cut your floss about 18 to 22 inches. You don't want it too long because it can kind of tangle up on you, at least until you're used to, to doing it enough times. Okay, so on there it talks about the shape of the needle. So you can see one side is longer than the other where the point is. On this side, it's the beveled edge, okay? So you threaded your floss through the needle. Now you're going to thread it through the eye of the needle, okay? So there's the tube of the needle and then the eye of the needle. And you're threading it through the beveled side. Like that, remove your threader. Okay, then I'm gonna pull this up like this, okay? And I'm just gonna leave a small tail, all right? 
you want to do that because when you start to punch needle this thread needs to go in and it needs to stick now <clears throat> this cross stitch fabric that they have is super stiff so it's going to be hard to manipulate into your hoop and pull it down tight and the thing about when you do punch needle you want your fabric super tight kind of like a drum almost because the tightness of it acts as a resistance when you put the floss into the fabric it's going to hold the fabric okay the other thing um, that's good about this is the holes on here as you put the punch needle down you you'll get an idea as far as how close to put the needle so you can just do it in the different holes, all right? And I would suggest doing six strands of floss for this particular fabric. Now, if you wanna do something a little bit uh, finer or tighter weave, the cloth that I'm gonna be showing our demonstration next week is called Weaver's Cloth. I like it. Uh, a lot of people who do punch needle use it because it has a super tight weave so that when you put the floss down into the fabric, it holds it really well broadcloth, you know, just the basic solid colors that you would see at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, that also has a pretty tight weave if you want to try that, or a linen, anything like that. And it's not so stiff like this, so you can pull it really tight. All right, when you put your punch needle down, see this right here, you're going to put it down and you want this to stop the fabric. That's going to be how long your loop is going to be, all right? And so we're gonna take practice. And I have to tell you guys that when I first did this, I did not like it at all. The, what I made didn't turn out very well. And I thought I'm never gonna do this again, but I tried it a couple years later and I really enjoyed it a lot. And now I just find it really relaxing. So be patient with yourself if it doesn't turn out like you want. So tonight I'm just gonna give you guys an idea as far as how to do this and then you can practice this between uh, when we meet this week versus next week, okay? So you're going to insert it into one of these holes, all right? And because this hoop isn't as, as thick or as wide as the needle, you're gonna have to hold it up so the needle doesn't go into your table, okay? So you're gonna pull your needle up and I'm gonna push this fabric down a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so that's a little bit loose. Now the beautiful thing is you can just pull your, your floss back a little bit. Oh, see that already came out. Oh, here's the other thing that you need to know. So you've got this beveled edge and when you do the punch needle, you want the beveled edge away from you because you're going like this, okay? You want this loose and you want this away because you're gonna be punching over like that, all right? So let's try it again. So just try like a row at a time. This will be great for practice. But like I said, this fabric's a little stiff, so you're gonna have to make sure to hold it down, keep it tight. It takes practice, you guys. So you're barely pulling your needle out to lift it up and put it into the next hole. It's almost like your needle is touching your fabric to get into the next hole. Also, if you mess up, punch needle is very forgiving and it will let you take your thread all the way out if you need to. Another thing, when you're doing your design, don't turn your needle, just turn this that your design is in, okay? Always make sure that the beveled edge is away from you. So I'm looking for it right now. There it is. Okay, I need to pull this up a little bit tighter. See how that came loose? You're just gonna pull it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the next row. And I'm gonna start it.
right, so on the other side, you can see the loops like that, okay? And that's what you want. So this is the back side where you would have like your threads knotted, that kind of thing if you're doing embroidery. And this is the side that everybody will see. So between now and next week, practice on this. This seems like it got some of the, oh yeah, this is kind of rough fabric. So I would suggest getting, if you can, a tighter weave fabric, and I think that that will help a lot, okay? But just practice, practice, practice. Remember, beveled edge away from you. When you lift the needle up, you're gonna lift it up where it's just almost touching your fabric and you're gonna punch it right down, right next to it. Turn your frame, not your needle, to turn a corner, okay? And just so you guys know, next week I'm gonna be using a different needle. These are needles that I bought when I first started. This particular one is called a Russian punch needle. And mine, I thread from the back end and I pull it through. And I'm just used to doing this one, so this is the one that I'm gonna show you guys with, but the, the concept is still the same. I punch with the beveled edge away from me. I put this all the way down into the fabric to where it stops just like that and I just keep moving it back and forth. So practice you guys, have a good time with this, and I will see you next week. Thanks so much, bye-bye.